Steve Walker. Steven, put him to sleep, Walker. Yes, welcome, God. <laughs> uh, big Muay Thai fighter out of New England, and he's heading to Lion Fight 34 in Vegas, fighting for Scott Kent in the biggest Muay Thai organization in the country, probably in the world. Yes. And Steven's got a chance to show his skills on there. So, Steven, let's talk about this uh, this opportunity of yours. How are you feeling? Well, right now I'm feeling excited. I'm very pumped because right now I'm going to the fight capital, which is Vegas. You know, first time being there, so um, I'm definitely going to put on a show, show off my talent, and show off some of my skills. Um, you know, at the same time, whenever any fight I have a fight coming up, you know, you all got to train hard more than your opponent. So while your opponent's sleeping, you're still training. Um, here at Hard Knocks, we go hard. When I mean hard, I mean we train till we throw up. Uh, and, and that's a lot of that's a lot of intense workout, uh, you know. And um, I'm I'm ready for a lion fight. Man, no, and I'm ready. I'm ready. And nice lion fights. Call them up. You are. Stephen has fought for lion fight before back in September. Yeah. Uh, you want to talk about that experience? Have you ever fought out a big? Uh, you fought at Foxwoods back in, uh, in September. How did it feel fighting for Lion Fight then? Your first time fighting for them in Foxwoods. Well, my first time fighting for Lion Fight in Foxwoods, Lion Fight 31. It, it, it was very big for me because that's a good look on my resume. You know, that's a big promotion, and I'm excited to get on that car. Not a lot of people get on that car. Yeah. And um, you know, I, I definitely want to let people know that you know, um, to always you know choose me because I can sell tickets. Um, you know, exactly. So I'm just letting they, they, they promote know that hey, listen, I'm an asset as well. So you know, I really appreciate the time for you with thinking about considering you on your on um, your car. So um, like I said, it was very exciting for me. Um, never been to Fox with you, but until until then, yeah, so, uh, yeah, yeah. So I'm getting my cherry pop. <laughs> nice, nice. And, and, and what a way to go! Jumping yeah. in Foxwoods in front of like a huge crowd uh, for Lion Fight promotion which is, you know, they've got the best Muay Thai fighters in the world fighting for them, and now you're one of them. Yes. yes. So, you're heading to Vegas. Have you ever been You ever been to Vegas? No, I've never been to Vegas before, so that's definitely on the bucket list, but now my bucket list came true, so I'm, I'm excited for that. Um, one thing else I'm excited for is just, 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 just my fight camp, you know, um, Bill Newcomb. He done like opened my eyes for a lot of things. You know, um, he's a great coach. And like I said, I'm going to Vegas with him. And also, I believe this is the first time I'm also going to Vegas. So oh, well, cool, cool, cool. A cool good time, you know. <laughs> so you might you might take an extra couple of days over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, it's better be leaving Saturday. I won't be leaving Sunday. Awesome. <laughs> All right, Steve. So I, I like to ask most fighters like, how you how you got into martial arts? What 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 was inspired you to, to start training? Did you have it? Did you do sports as a kid? What got you to do it? All right, so a lot of people don't know that I'm Jamaican. And um, one thing about us Jamaicans, we love karate flicks, old school karate flicks. So I've been watching karate flicks since the age of five. Um, everybody in my household, um, we never did. We never took karate before, but people in my neighborhood know know a lot about me. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, that's that's just one thing I'm obsessed with karate flicks. And plus, the thing about karate flicks, they teach how to be humble, disciplined, and, and not to abuse martial arts. So um, growing up, you know, I got in trouble with the law at the age of 17. You know, and um, you know, I end up being put away for a long, a long time. You know. Um, so when, when I came out of um, incarceration, you know, um, a friend of mine named Levi, who used to train at White Crew, told me about this sport called MMA. I'm like, what's MMA? Yeah. I never knew what it stands yeah. for. Uh, he says, mixed martial arts. I'm like, okay, so I told him, he told me to come by the gym. Um, I gave it a shot. At first, I didn't like it due to the fact that my name was not going to train. So I ended up going on Groupons and I fought hard knocks. And the price was like at my pocket level. You know, it was, it was very fair. And so I ended up going on Groupon. I got a month, a month late discount on Groupon. And I ended up training that high point. I met Bill. And when I walked into that gym, the environment was so welcoming. It felt like a family. And I felt like, yo, this is where I need to be. So, um, you know, I, I, I trained there for a while. 
and Bill, Bill took me in um, as a middle school and also, you know, he, he made the foundation for me. Um, me being an inner city kid, you know, from, from a troubled background, he did kind of understand my story and um, he took in consideration and, and mold me into the person I am today and I thank him for that. That's so awesome, that's awesome. You know what, uh, stories like that, I hear some here and there from, you know, you know, kids coming from trouble and then jumping into martial arts yeah. and the, the trainers or the coaches they basically turn into role models and hold you and, and take you them under their wing because they don't do it to everybody but they do it to someone they see yes. that, that that has that passion that caring or want to get better and you came to the right one with Bill because look at you you're heading to Vegas in a, in a month in a month for the first time so you, you definitely had goals set you definitely were, you were setting a path and you were set, set to build to get you started in Muay Thai and he's taken to taken you to a level that you can show your skills and you're representing New England man you are going over there to represent New England and uh, we're looking forward to this I feel good going to the fight capital um, I let a lot of inner kids, city kids know that, listen, just because you have a, a, a quarry, don't let that from uh, other doors open up for you, you know what I mean? Um, prime example from there, he's a good guy for me, and um, he's still molding me as I go, and uh, I just want to let the community know, like, hey, listen, you know, I can relate to you guys, you know, and, and um, you know, life always gives you a second chance, and that second chance is called tomorrow. So, so never give up on your dreams, never give up on your goal. Don't let a quarry hold you back. Cause I'm a prime example of a changed person. Who I am now is not who I was last year, or yesterday, or the day before. You know, I'm always improving myself, and I'm just letting the inner city kids know, and the youth know that hey, listen, if I could do it, you could do it. You know? Awesome. Mixed martial arts is for everybody. Yes, yes. Steve, that was awesome. All right, now with speaks like that, we need social media to know how to get in touch with you so we can like follow you, watch it third. So tell us uh, how we get in touch with you on all social media. All right, so if you want to follow me on Instagram, it's stop underscore sleeping, and then you're going to see a picture of me. There's a lot of my fights on there also. You're going to see a couple pictures of my family, my children, which I love there. Also on Facebook, you can follow my fight page, Steve Walker, uh, on Facebook. And you can follow my fight page right there, my fan page, I should say. You can like it, you can comment on it, and stuff like that. Uh, anything you want to say to Scott Kent or Vegas, because you're coming. Hey, Scott Kent, once again, thank you for the opportunity you blessed me with. Um, it's a miracle, and you're an amazing person. Keep up the good work. A lot of people that you have um, you have a lot of opportunity, and we appreciate you, and just keep up the good work. Vegas, here we come. Thanks, buddy. And we'll see you here in March. We'll see Lion Fight back here in March. Yes, March 3rd. Hopefully, I'm on that card. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hopefully, we have a quick fight and you can come back and fight for the home crowd. Yeah, yeah. All right. From Steve Walker at Hot Knocks Gym, watching a little Muay Thai. Hey. We're out of here. We are.